What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! All right, we're coming back to Gat Carrick Spin. Yes, indeed. Gat Carrick Spin fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all those clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor. Before you do all those things, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This is a request from Home Gnome and SMB, and this is actually SMB's prioritized request for the month of January for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, SMB. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, and you as well, Home Gnome. They both want to see me react to this song by Gakarik Spin called Broken Lover. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, <laughs> are you kidding me? This is that song? I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Moo Metal, okay? And the video has 7,200 views. Eh, not gonna get you there, sorry. Look, I, I'm sure the song is fine. I'm sure the video is fine, okay? I'm just I'm just saying 7,200 views, it's, it's not gonna get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Uh, Broken Lover. That's all I got. Look, this is the link I was given by SMB. So I look, I, I can only assume this is correct. So if it's not correct, don't blame me. <laughs> blame SMB. He's the one that gave me this link. But I'm sure, I'm sure we're in the right place. I, I don't think SMB would give me the wrong link. At least on purpose. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. so much going on <laughs> where do i start i mean god oh good lord okay oh gosh how how long is this video oh my god we're almost halfway through okay um <laughs> there is so much to talk about 
Oh my goodness. I, 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 there's no way I'm going to be able to talk about everything in one pause. Um, the stage energy is just off the charts. Uh, the stage presence, stage energy, stage interaction, crowd interaction, showmanship. It's, it's all at like up in the, it's all peaking. It's all, it's all up in the red. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous how high it is. And I mean that as an absolute compliment. I am not, that is not a criticism. That is a compliment. Um, holy smokes, their energy is off the chart. Um, that bass player, whoo, coming through clean. I love the popping and slapping. Sounds really good. Very appropriate for this style of song with the pacing and the feel of the song. Very appropriate what she's doing. Um, I'm going to stop there. Let's get back into some, there's a lot more I want to say, trust me. Uh, but let's, let's get back to the song for right now. Okay, great breakdown. Way to bring it down, but not lose it. You know, you, you bring on the energy a little bit, give everybody a chance to catch their breath, but you didn't bring it down so much that you lost the crowd. You didn't bring it down so much that you lost the listener. You didn't bring it down so much that you lost the energy and the groove of the song. Great job. Great way to walk that that line. Really, great, really, bleh, bleh, bleh. Yeah, <laughs> what? You know those days where your mouth just does not want to work for you? I'm having one of those days. Great job overall. God dang it. Um, The crowd interaction is ridiculous. I mean, it is outstandingly ridiculous. Uh, everybody, and I mean everybody, even the drummer and the keyboard player in the very back are interacting with the crowd constantly motioning to the crowd, constantly looking into the crowd, even if it's just something as simple as facial expression to interact with the crowd. Hey, you know, look at me, you know, type of thing. It's, it, it works. It, it absolutely works. And everybody, every chance they get is interacting with the crowd, in particular on that chorus with all those gang vocals giving the crowd the chance to be the part of the show and sing along. Outstanding. Outstanding. Speaking of vocals, uh, that drummer can sing. That drummer can definitely sing. And I like how the drummer and the keyboard player are harmonizing with each other. It sounds really good when they're singing in harmonies. Uh, their vocal tones blend really well. Very complimentary to each other. Um, the two girls that are doing... No instrumentation. They're just dancing and singing. Who are they? <laughs> I feel like I've seen them in the band. Uh, are, are they taking a break and like maybe they have a guest drummer or something? I, I don't know, but I, 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 they know the song. They know what to do, and they're 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 kind of taking a page on a baby metals book with their their uh, synchronized choreography. I mean, they're, they're they're moving together in sync, so obviously it's all choreographed. It's all planned. Um, 
which is really cool. I mean, again, visual spectacle works. Definitely works. Very eye-catching. Um, the energy and pacing on this song is amazing. It's fantastic. I, I'm just going to go on record. I, oh, look, I, I know we got another minute and 26 to go, but so far, I can say this is probably my favorite song by Gakarik Spin. This, this song has all the things I look for, not just in a song, but in a live performance, too. If I were to, okay, let, let, me, let me lay it out for you here. Let, let me break it down for you. Break it down! If I were to have just heard the song and not seen the video, even if it was the studio version of the song, I could listen to the studio version of the song, and I would, I would guarantee you, I would say this. This song has the potential to be a show closer. This is the type of song that you want to end a show with. It's got the energy. It's got the drive. It's got the feel-good vibes. It's got the gang vocals, which give a ton of opportunity for crowd interaction and get the crowd to sing along. This is the type of song you want to end a show with. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if this is the last song of the show, but it feels like it. Like, it, this feels like this should be the end. This should be the end of the show. I don't know if it is or not, but it feels like it should be. So, I'm sure in the comments you guys will let me know if I'm right or not. Uh, but this feels like a show closer. Anyway, uh, let's, let's finish this out and we'll get to the review. Wait, is that the keyboard player? Wait a minute, the keyboard player left her station and came down to interact? What's that? Keyboard players can leave their station? Yes! Yes! Jesus H. Christ! Yeah, they can. They just don't do it very often. I love that when keyboard players don't play anything for like 64 measures, and what do they do? They just stand there behind the keyboard and do nothing. That drives me nuts it drives me crazy because all i can think of is what a waste of an opportunity for the keyboard player to leave their station come to the front of the crowd and interact with the crowd and add to the showmanship since you're not playing anyway why don't you do something productive well here we are here we are we're doing it right now that's right yep And the crowd following suit. <laughs> Is she standing on her keyboard? Oh my god! There's so much visually happening! Keyboard player jumps up on her keyboard and stands on her keyboard. While the guitar player does the old Ingve behind, well, she does it behind the back as opposed to going over the shoulder. Uh, but still doing the old shoulder swing. Good lord! So much happening visually. Yes, 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 yes. 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 My god! Look at that! <laughs> Her inner spelled out. <laughs> not the end of the show a crime has been committed <laughs> that has got to be the end it's gotta be how are they gonna top that 
My goodness, you always, look, the reason I'm being so adamant about this is you want to leave the crowd with the best impression possible. So you want your last song to leave a lasting impression. If there's a song that leaves a bigger, lasting impression than that, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I, 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 I can't imagine it. Is it possible? Maybe. Am I ready for it? No. <laughs> I, I'm barely holding on for this. This is a fantastic live performance. This was fantastic to watch. Um, good Lord. <laughs> it's just so much happening. Um, okay, I need to calm down. I, I, need, I need to take a number of deep breaths. Not just one, not just two. I need to take several deep breaths. I need to calm down, I need to stop geeking out, and I need to really take a look objectively at what I just saw. So, let me get my, let me get my thoughts together, let me calm down, let me stop geeking out, I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Got Carrick Spin with Broken Lover. This was a request from Home Gnome, and SMB, and this was actually SMB's prioritized request for the month of January for being a Silver Tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, SMB. I hope you enjoyed the show, man, and you too, Home Gnome. Um, okay. I had to calm down. I had to, you know, catch my breath, slow down my breathing, stop geeking out, stop gushing. I had to really kind of take a moment to... <sighs> Calm my, slow down my pulse and just kind of take those few moments to just kind of get my thoughts together and really and truly look at this song objectively. Okay, so just keep in mind that when I when I give this score, it's it's not a ner it's not a knee jerk reaction. Okay, I, I really I had to calm down. I had to really look at the song objectively. And once I did, this score came to mind. And honestly, the the score made sense. So. But just keep in mind that this is not like, oh my god! No, no, no! I, I, I really did. I took, I took several minutes to calm down, breathe. Okay, okay, I'm good. Now let's really look at this objectively. Let's really think about everything I saw, and let's really take a look at it, and let's think of a score that's going to reflect my objectivity, and it's going to reflect what I really and truly thought about the song and the live performance. Okay, so. Just keep that in mind. On a scale of one to 10, I am gonna give that a 9.4. Yep, 9.4, you heard me, I didn't stutter. That is the score that I honestly believe this song deserves. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, I'm gonna have to break this up into two parts. Okay, I have to, I don't have a choice. I have to, but y y I, I guarantee you, you're gonna see what I mean by that when I when I explain where I, we're going with this. Okay, let's talk about the song itself. Okay, let's talk about the song. The song, high energy song, feel good song, very uplifting and energizing chordal structure and chordal progression um the melodic lines fitting right in there man everything man, everything about the song itself felt great outstandingly well done um the type of song now i i could be wrong i don't know i'm sure in the comments you guys are gonna let me know something is just about this song screams last song if I were to have heard the studio version of the song, if it was exactly like the live version, the same tempo, same feel, same everything in the studio version, I would tell you right now, I would listen to the studio version and I would tell you that is a show closer. That is the type of song you want to end a show with. Why? Because it's going to leave the crowd energized. It's going to leave the crowd with a great uplifting feeling. It's going to leave the crowd feeling good and it's gonna have that type of impact 
that you want to have for a last song that's going to leave a lasting impression when they go home and on the drive home doesn't matter if it's a half hour drive or a three hour drive they're going to be thinking about the whole show right but you know what they're going to be thinking about the most the last song think about it think about all the live shows that you've seen now i know everybody's going to have their favorite songs right and you know, people and everybody's going to remember the, their favorite songs you know when they go see their favorite bands they see them play their favorite song and it's about you know like i said two-thirds of the way through the show right you're gonna remember that one of course but what else are you gonna remember i guarantee you you're gonna remember the first song and you're gonna remember the last song you may not remember every song in between but you are guaranteed to remember the first and the last. Guaranteed, hands down, no questions asked. And that comes down to smart song list and set list arrangement. You want to start off with a bang and you want to end with a song that's going to leave a lasting impression. This song absolutely does that without question. Um, everything sounded great musically uh the bass playing one of the highlights for me i'm a bass player sue me but you know she was doing some great popping and slapping in there and she was coming through in the mix really well i never once had to go looking for her her she was prominent her bass tone was absolutely up at the front of the mix and i love that even a little more than the guitar if i'm being honest with you i think the bass was actually a little bit louder than the guitar was now from a mix standpoint is that what you want it, it, okay, it's what I want, but that's not necessarily what the general public wants. Usually you want the guitar to be a little more forward in the mix than the bass. You know, unless you're Primus, then, you know, fine, whatever, have the bass in the mix as, much, as long as you want. I'm all in favor of that. But I, I loved the mix in this, but I know a lot of people might have a little bit of a gripe with it. Well, okay, that's, that's, their, that's their prerogative. Me, personally, I like hearing a lot of bass. I was happy about it. Drumming was solid. Drumming was rock solid. Anything all that impressive happening in the drums? I wouldn't say that, but there were some great runs. There were some great fills. And most importantly, the drummer was in the pocket and grooving. I mean, what more could you want from a drummer? I mean, the, the drummer did a great job. Um, the guitar playing, sparse at times. It sounded like she wasn't playing 100% of the time. It sounded like she was taking a lot of opportunities to interact with the crowd. Got no problem with that, as long as the keyboard player was there to fill out the sound, which she was. When the keyboard player wasn't filling out the sound, the guitar player took over and filled out the sound. They did a great job of covering each other, and that's important. I mean, you don't want, you never want the song to sound hollow. Um, so when one was interacting with the crowd, the other one covered, and when the other one wanted to interact with the crowd, the other one covered. So, great job on both of their parts. Um, the two doing the choreographed dancing. I don't know who they are. I don't know if they're actually a part of the band. I believe they are. Maybe they just weren't doing anything for that song and they really wanted to get that moment to interact with the crowd. Got no problem with it. You know why? Because they were doing that the entire time. They were either doing the choreographed moves, the, the choreographed dance moves in sync with each other, or they were interacting with the crowd. There was never one time where either one of them stopped. There was never one time where either one of them took a break. They were constantly moving, constantly putting on a show, constantly interacting with the crowd. What more do you want? Um, vocally, I, I dug the drummer's vocals on this, and I even even more than that, I loved it when the keyboard player came in with the harmonies. The gang vocal, look, gang vocals are gang vocals, okay? As long as they're strong and they have purpose, I got no issue with them whatsoever, and they sounded great. But really, the harmonies did it for me more than anything else vocally. If I were to split these up, there's the live performance and there's the song. Now, let's look at the song. Like I said, I would give the song on its own, I would give it about an 8.7, 8.8, a very high, great score. So how in the world did we come to a 9.4? Very simply, this was one of the best live performances I have ever seen from a visual standpoint. Everybody was moving at all times. Everybody was interacting with each other. Everybody was interacting with the crowd when they weren't interacting with each other. There was never a point, ever, not once, during that entire performance where somebody, anybody, stopped and just rested. That never happened. Everybody was either interacting with each other or they were interacting with the crowd or they were at least moving around the stage giving off that stage presence and stage energy. Folks, You, if you're looking 
if you are looking for what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about, what I look for in a live show, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, exhibit A through triple Z. It, it's all here. This is what I look for in a live performance. And they took everything I looked for and they boosted it Spinal Tap style up to 11. I mean, look, what more could you possibly want from a live performance? And here's the thing. Was anybody getting shot out of a cannon? No. Was anybody jumping through hoops? No. Was anybody doing barrel rolls and, and, and twist kicks? No. But you know what they were doing? They were giving a hundred percent. They left everything, and I mean everything, on that stage. How they could not be exhausted after doing that song, I don't know. That's why I really kind of suspect this is the last song of the show, because after doing all that, I can't imagine them having much more energy. I know I would be exhausted after doing all of that, man. I mean, everybody, and I mean everybody in particular, I'm gonna give a special shout out to that keyboard player. Dear Lord, I love her. I love everything about her. She reminds me of me, the type of effort and energy that she puts out. She really went all out, jumping off the off her platform. She Look, keyboard players, they have the option. If they're not playing, they have the option of standing back there if they want, taking a break, not doing anything. Okay, fine. That's their option. That's their prerogative. If they choose to do that, that's on them. But that's not what she chose to do. When she wasn't playing, what did she do? She chose to come down to the front and interact with those two doing the choreographed, uh, you know, simultaneous, the synchronized choreography and interact with them and interact with the crowd. And she put on a great show. Then she ran back to her platform, jumped up on top of her keyboard, stood up there and led the crowd. And then she got down on all fours and was headbanging so hard that her ear, her in-ear monitors, her IEMs flew out of her ears. Folks, if you're headbanging that hard, I mean, that's happened to me a couple times, not often, but it's happened to me a few times. You have to be headbanging as hard as you possibly can to get those to fall because those lock in. I mean, they really do. They're cust Look, these are custom molded to my ears. It's very hard for these to fall out. It does happen, but not often. But she must have been putting out a tremendous amount of energy in her head banging for that in order for that to happen. So kudos to oh, and the guitar player with the Ingve going behind the back over the shoulder and coming back and playing. And yeah, there's just so much to talk about. <laughs> I'm geeking out again. So look. I would give the song, like I said, about an 8.8. .8. That live performance is one of the best live performances I have ever seen. I would give the live performance, the stage, the, the visual, I would give that like a 9.8, 9.9. Honest to God, that was one of the best live performances I have ever seen. So you get the 8.8, .8, you got the 9.9, .9, mix them together, and I, I came up with about a 9.4. It feels good, so. We're gonna stick with that. Yeah, I yeah. I, I thought about going up to 9.5 and I'm like, no, 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 no. I gotta give them some room to go because who knows, they may show something even more impressive and I gotta be able to go somewhere with it. So 9.4, I feel good with that score. Like I said, I, I, I think the song is great. Don't get me wrong, it's a great song. But that live performance was absolutely off the charts. About as close to a perfect live performance as you can get. So yeah, 9.4, I feel good with that score. That's where we're gonna stay. So 9.4, final score, I have spoke. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.